Good morning, Snippets. So it is Thursday, I think. <laughs> I'm about to leave for work. Got my bike clothes on. And once I get to work, uh, I'm, I'm slowly starting to catch up on all the stuff that I was getting behind and like I'm caught up on vlogs, finally. And now I can try and like catch up on schoolwork. I need to do at least two chapters today if I want to stay the same amount behind that I've been. <laughs> uh, but ideally I'd like to get more done if I can. And then I also, like I have a random snips to edit, but I feel like this week, this late in the week, I should just wait until the weekend, and then maybe I was thinking about maybe posting like a double feature this weekend, like, <sighs> secrets. <laughs> I don't know exactly, but I'm running kind of late. This whole week I've been waking up like, later. Like, I've been waking up around like 7.30 like every day this week, and I mean, I'm supposed to be at work at 8, and it takes me 15 minutes to bike there. So I've been constantly like 10, 15 minutes late for work, which isn't normally an issue in my office because everyone's 15 minutes later, so like no one shows up at 8, but still, like, whenever I get to work, like, I have to change and, uh, everything I like degross for a little bit and that wastes some time too so I, I want to get there at like 745 ideally so that by 8 I'm like ready to go you know so I'm gonna keep trying for that and that's my goal and Grant's been helping me actually because he's been like texting me in the morning trying to wake me up but then I go back to sleep and I'm like man <laughs> but right now I need to leave for work because I'm running late and I need to go mm. okay so I just biked to work before I left as I was going down the stairs at the outpost I skipped a step and I fell on the ground and I scraped my knee and now it's like now the bleeding's kind of stopped but it was bleeding pretty badly I don't think this one's bleeding no there's it's got a couple of bruises but yeah that was the thing that happened this morning so just all the things are trying to push me towards being late but I guess now I have an excuse for being late there's actually no one here though like the parking lot is like nearly empty so I don't know where everyone else is, but I guess everyone's just kind of running late this morning. <laughs> Yay, I'm finally on my lunch break. So I spent most of my morning, like, actually, like, the morning went by really quickly because I was editing my Alamad for today most of the morning, which surprisingly took longer than I thought I was going to. And then uh, Grant is taking his driving test today, so uh, I, I had spent a long time, like, trying to motivate him. And I sent him, like, a 56 text long motivational message of like you got this like you're gonna pass you're so capable like you're awesome blah 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 so that was fun so I'm on my way to the sub right now to go get lunch my mom sent me $25 so that'll get me through lunch today and tomorrow until I can actually go and like buy real food so that's good because I had like I checked my bank account I had like a dollar 97 in my bank account I was like ooh, this is my head <laughs> so <laughs> after lunch I'm gonna try and get through two chapters of my schoolwork if not more because I think I believe I have two to do today and I'm still trying to just like keep up my same pace of being behind because <laughs> like I said I'm four chapters behind so hopefully I can catch up with that this weekend so until then I just need to if not get ahead like if not try and catch up I at least need to like not get any farther behind so my goal is to finish two chapters of my schoolwork today we'll see okay so I'm literally eating the exact same thing for lunch that I had yesterday a chicken sandwich uh, an eight piece chicken fries and apple and a snapple so I mean I don't like to branch out very much. I like to like pick a thing that I like and then stick to it. And it's also just really good, especially whenever I have money for it. I mean, it's really expensive, so I probably can't do it much after this week. But I mean, for now, until like I can like buy real food, this is not an option that I hate. <laughs> All right, so I just finished my lunch and, okay, funny story. So yesterday when I went to go get lunch, uh, whenever I got like the eight piece chicken thing, they only gave me seven pieces. And I was really heartbroken about it. And I was like, okay, Chick-fil-A, I see how it's gonna be. And then today when I got my eight piece chicken, there was nine pieces in it. So I was like, I guess they knew that they made a mistake yesterday and they were making up for it. I mean, that's not really what happened because it was just like random pick, but I mean, I guess I'll, ended well. <laughs> I mean, I can't say I'm complaining. <laughs> so I'm headed back to work right now and then I'll be there for the rest from one till five and then I'll be back home and we'll see how much more productive I can be. Knowing that tomorrow's Friday, it's going to be very hard for me to stay productive, but I'm going to try. <laughs> Yay, time to go home. So I'm about to finish my bike right finish. I'm about to start my bike right home. And then I have to do a lot of stuff when I get back because I only got one chapter of my schoolwork done and I want to get at least two if not more done. And I would have gotten more done at work today, but there was just a lot of life happening, which <laughs> I might explain later. But one of the things that happened today is that I got my confirmation email saying that I'm welcome to work with the kids ministry starting tomorrow. So I'm leaving work about 15 minutes or so early tomorrow to go like 
for training, like pre-training before the training, because we have training every week at like 5.30. So I'm being picked up to be there around 5, so I can have my pre-training before the regular training, since it's my first time and everything. So that's going to be so much fun. And I'm going to be doing those most Fridays from 5.30 to 8.30, so that, that's, I think that's going to be a really awesome opportunity. I'm so excited. So that happened today, and there's just a lot of other life things happening, but hopefully I can remain productive whenever I get home. I just have to make it there first. <laughs> Okay, so I've made it home. It's actually been a little while. Uh, I went to the office and I picked up a package that I had in the mail. One of them was uh, part of Grant's gift. I haven't gotten all of it. I need to check on the status of the other stuff. But I got some of it. I got him two boxes of Poppin' Cookin', which is like Japanese, like kind of like candy, make your own kind of food things. This one is ice cream and this one is sushi. And so I got him these. And then I also got these. They are matcha flavored Kit Kat bars because he really likes matcha flavored things. And so I got him matcha flavored Kit Kats because I thought that was interesting. And then I also got him this. It was, it's a little stuffed Mew doll thing. And there's a couple more things coming in the mail so I'm just waiting for those to come now. I also got in the mail my book that Grand Zeb and I are all reading this summer called Hearing God's Voice by Henry and Richard Blackamy. So I hope to have chapter one of this finished by Saturday because that's what my goal is on my calendar. All of that has happened right now. I am trying to relax a little bit, but I also need to get some more schoolwork done. So I'm grabbing my theater textbook now so that I'll try and stay motivated to do work and not like get distracted or fall asleep or anything because I also need to go to bed early tonight because last night I intended to go to bed early and then Grant and I ended up talking about just like life struggles and like like I was telling you the other day like he's kind of going through a lot of stuff and so I just wanted to show him that like I was there for him and just like help him talk helped talk him through it because I mean, this isn't really something that he could talk to Zeb about anyway, who he's a little bit closer to, even if he wanted to, like Zeb's out of the country. So uh, I think this has been a good experience for us because it's helped us, I guess, like be more vulnerable with each other and open up to each other a little more. So anyway, uh, I'm going to relax a little bit longer. Hopefully I can get some schoolwork done and then hopefully I can be in bed before, well, ho at least before 2 a.m., but hopefully around like 10, at la 11 at the latest. That's my goal. Okay, so I just woke up from, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how long I was asleep, but I fell asleep for a little while. And then <laughs> I woke up to a couple of texts from Grant. And I won't, I won't go into detail because not, it's not my place to talk about his life. But basically, I don't, I don't even know like what to say that's appropriate yet still conveys the message of what's happening. But basically just... I, I, things are kind of weird between me and Grant tonight, and I don't really know why, and, like, that, that scares me because, like, I'm a controller, I like to be in control of situations, and I feel like I've just, like, lost control of this situation, like, I feel like I had such a good control on things and, like, how things were going, and, like, that, in my mind, that felt so good, and I think that's part of what God is trying to tear, <laughs> tear off for me is, is I think he's trying to humble me back to saying like look this isn't your plan this is mine you like I, I want to use you as a part of it but this is not your plan and I think that that's just something that God is trying to teach me right now I don't know what's really going on in Grant's mind right now but I think that we both just kind of like need tonight apart from this situation and from each other and because <laughs> I mean we've been talking kind of pretty much non-stop since like Monday and I think that we just need some time apart from each other and from thinking about this situation or talking about the situation to each other because like the past few days have just been like really really intense conversations between us and I think we're both just tired because I mean intense conversations are good to have but not every day and not all the time and I think th I think that's hard for me because I guess I just have to like find my balance in that yeah I think we're both I think we're just both overwhelmed and I just need to spend tonight like by myself in prayer with God. It took me a lot to just even turn on this vlogging camera and talk to you like I didn't even want to. You guys, I have a different relationship with you guys seeing as that you are through a lens and you're kind of just like a reflection of my inner thoughts. But I, it, it, like, I didn't even want to talk to you guys, which I'm sorry, I apologize for and I'll get over it. <laughs> Since I took a nap, like I, it's already past 10 and that was my 
like my goal bedtime so like I don't I'm not gonna be in bed as early as I thought but I'm going to do some reading and then spend some time just like reflecting in prayer and then I need to go to bed I didn't end up doing any schoolwork so I'm gonna be another chapter behind but I <laughs> I don't really have any motivation to do anything other than be in prayer and talking to God tonight like I don't have any other desire to do anything else because if I'm not talking to God I just want to be sleeping anyway that's what I need to be doing right now and then I will catch you up before I go to bed <laughs> okay so I read a little bit and now I think I just need to go to bed um I've, I've spent the past like I don't know how long I was doing it but I spent the past few minutes in prayer and this sounds kind of ridiculous and I know but like I just felt no other way to just like show f how fully like how broken I guess and like how like needing of him that I am that I just I got on my knees and I just like dug my nose in the carpet and I was just like all right like here I am I'm here at your feet and I don't know I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I feel like I've lost control of the situation. I I like so much to just be in control of situations. Like, I like to be in control, and I feel like I've lost control. And I think that's where God is wanting to speak to me, in that I'm not, like, I'm not going to have control of the situation, because it's not my situation, it's God's. And He will bring healing to my life whenever I agree to give him complete control over everything and so I do like I don't know what's happening right now like I'm still confused and I don't know like what's going on in Grant's head right now and I I, I just I don't know anything that's happening and, I, and I, I don't know I'm just genuinely confused and I'm hurt and broken but I'm relinquishing all of my trust and all of my hope and all of my prayers and all of my control to God and I think that that's what he's waiting for me to do so I think going to bed tonight I will be able to rest easy hopefully knowing that whatever happens is going to be a result of God's will and not mine because I um, like I've I've been proven time and time again and I hope that it comes across in my vlogs that whenever I think I have something figured out and whenever I start to live something according to my ways they don't go how they how God intends them to and I think that there's something definitely like really eye-opening and beautiful in that and it shows like God's true voice speaking I'm actually the, the book that we're reading I think I told you that Grand Zeb and I are reading is called Hearing God's Voice and so um, I think I'm just learning how to hear his will for my life and so uh, anyway I think we've all thought enough things tonight so I'm gonna go to bed tomorrow I start my work with the children's ministry my weekly my weekly service uh, which will be done like on Fridays every week so that's gonna be exciting but right now I need to go to bed so I will see you guys tomorrow for at least another minute good night